okay, y'all. Roll with me, y'all. Roll with me. Roll with me, please. <laughs> I just, I just, this is one of these, girl. Oh. I thought, first of all, I thought the prayers go out to Shamar, his mom, and his family this time. I don't know if y'all know, um, Shamar Kohu is not only a friend of Sip Nation, but uh, a, somebody who I've worked with in the past uh, professionally and somebody who I've worked with uh, professionally, who I'm working with professionally now, and somebody who like uh, Mother Pass. So we definitely, um, definitely praying for him at this time. Um, yeah, uh, I'm on my way to, I'm on my way there now. I had to uh, do a few little things, but I'm actually on my way now to see uh, what's going on. Uh, I just know that I was informed earlier this morning that his mother passed. So uh, I'm definitely going to uh, see about that. Yeah. Uh, you know, a lot of times, um, man, you got to realize how, how life, just life, just life, life, man, life. So, um, yeah. Yeah, we're we'll going, um, I'm going to go see, uh, what's going on and definitely offer any support that we can here at Civil Nation for that. Uh, because he's definitely a friend of, I think a friend of mine, uh, a friend of us all. No matter what you, what your feelings about his attitude or anything, um, we could all appreciate his confidence and the entertainment he has provided us throughout um, throughout his his, his, his career. It's, no matter how much you can say whatever you want to say about him, uh, you can say that he has entertained. He's brought every last one of us in here a laugh at some point in time. He's done that. He's <laughs> you know we could always say we could count on him for a laugh, and, and that's very important to us because um, you know. See, we, we talk a lot about our our Instagram entertainers and our stuff like that. But you know, think about it. Who do we go? You know, we go. It, it, the news in the world, and we get so depressed all the time. It's just so. It's all bad news as of late, especially. And so, you know, you could count on um, some of your favorite Instagram entertainers to um, always provide you some form of entertainment, whether it be mess or drama. Or just a laugh or a comedy or something like that. And so, uh, even with Shamar, they was talking about him the other day. And I didn't like that. I, I definitely um, defended him um, to that. Because I feel like, you you know, people entertain different ways. And how they entertain to do their thing. And I respect that so much. I respect that so much. And so, um, we always count on them to get us through tough times. And if you, I don't, I, you know, I, you know I'm, I'm a person... That I, I appreciate people, however they entertain, that's how they entertain. Whether whatever they do, even you know, um, however they entertain, and, 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 and when they go through something, we gotta remember, like the people, the, these people are people, and they are they are um, they're human. They're human. We're human. I'm, I guess I fall into that category too. I'm an Instagram entertainer as well. So with that being said, it's like. Um, You know, so we gotta we we as the people and, and understand what I'm saying. So we as the people who appreciate we as the people who appreciate that take the next left they, 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 them, the, understand what I'm saying. So when we there's so much depression in the world, there's so much foolishness and, and COVID and all this other stuff. There's, there's so much of that. There's so much of that going on. It's so much of that going on. That we count on our entertainers to get us through some of that. Like it's a break. When you're watching Shamar, when you're watching Timing, when you're watching Super, when you're watching Nut, when you're watching me, it's a little break from all the foolishness. It's a little break when we can sit down and laugh and kick in or whatever it is about something that's not about this. And that's very important. I don't know how to set up a go for me. I don't want to set up a go for me. I, that's not my place. That's definitely for his family to do. I won't set up that for them. Um, if he needs something from me, I will definitely uh, give it to him, but I'm going to talk to him personally about that. Uh, not not for Instagram, but if you want to do something, I know someone has like handshap um, or whatever he has that you can give to him directly. 
I don't. I would never touch no this man's money. No tackle away. Not, uh, but that's. I, I think more important than, than money. Hump sometimes is credo. That's my opinion. But if you feel like you want to send him something, uh, I'm sure that they could. That they may have. They could use it or can help them. Uh, Shamar, I know has a cash up, and you did. You 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 uh. You could definitely. You can definitely um reach out to. Him is I think it's posted on his page. If not, I will post it on my page later. But as far as me setting up a go for me or something like that, I'm not doing it. That, that's not my place. That's more like for their family. But we so but we have this is our job, y'all. This is our job. Remember this. Our entertainers, whether you like what they talk about or not, or whether you think they're quite we get entertainment from these people. And, and and so when they go through the humanity of life, it becomes our responsibility to also lift them up. You understand what I'm saying? It's like, you know, it's, it's, we appreciate the entertainment. We, we, Shamar pretty much entertains us for free. I know he makes his promo money, and that's just part of what it is. But Shamar entertains us for free. A lot of people that we see on these apps and stuff like that, they entertain us for free or very little. Um, and so they're making it, just like everybody else. It's a job. And so when they go through something that's humanity, when they're getting us through our humanity, excuse me, when they're getting us through our humanity, it becomes our spot to help them. That's what I think. To remember, we need to remember that our entertainers are people, and they go through the things that all of us go through as far as humanity. And no different than people, they go through things too. The slime dolls are at the house too, as well. Uh, I have I spoke with Deja earlier this morning. Um, she made her way. A lot of people that was like Deja, not for him. That's not true. Uh, this woman called me at maybe five something this morning um, to be able to get into the house. So she was there. She was there early this morning because so that's not true. A lot of people, uh, people that say some, they're not with him. I don't think that's true. I don't. I think as far as the slime dolls are concerned, they definitely are on his side. I know this for a fact because she called me at five o'clock this morning and and was there for Shamar and has been at the house even before I was. So. That is that is not true. They they are definitely on his side. I will not say that. You, you know we are. Not like you know I'm not gonna. You have to be somebody that love me to get out of your bed at 5 a.m. in the morning and make your way an hour away from your home for the, for to to be there. So I'm not gonna. So, they, so for the people that talk about the, the, the slime dolls and danger in them and it's not his friends, that is not true. And I'm not going to stand for that. They are his friends. Because you're not getting out your bed at 4 o'clock in the morning. You're not chasing clout at 4 o'clock in the morning. Uh, or whatever y'all say these people do. Or trying to sell no clothes. You're getting out your bed at 4 o'clock in the morning for a friend. Or somebody that you love. Or somebody that you view as family. You're not going to do that for nobody that you... You're not going to do that for nobody that... that am I supposed to turn right here? Yeah. This thing, wait, this thing. Take the next right on the Burnt Hickory Road, Dalthic Ferry Road. Huh? All right. I'm so lost. I'll okay. continue on Burnt Hickory Road for one mile. So. Continue on Burnt Hickory Road for one mile. Let me say something. Let me say something. This is what I'm, I don't want y'all to do. Because I don't like this at all. Okay. <laughs> if Shamar, why would not Shamar? I'm shaking. All right? And we have a strong, solid Sip Nation family. Why would I not 
and, and, and but, but, but by us having a strong side of civil nation family, if my friend has a business, why would I not promote my friend's business? Why would I not want my friend to win? I don't even understand that mechanic. So, so, so you're saying that the the twins should not Shamar should not promote the twins just because they're his friends? That's not how that works, people. That's not how that works. Why would you not want your friend to win? I don't even understand what y'all saying. Like, make, miss me, make me understand that. So he should not promote their business at all. They're my friends. I want them to win. Girl, make your money. I want you to win. Steve Ballmer, go look up this story. In a quarter mile, turn left onto Mission Road Southwest. Steve Ballmer, Steve Ballmer, Steve Ballmer is the CEO, was not the CEO, was one of the people, is Steve Ballmer? Yeah. He was one of the people that uh, with Microsoft and Bill Gates, but he, they was partners. They just was partners. This man don't know about nothing about computers for real. I think he was some type of uh, whatever, whatever. And when they started, and so when they started Microsoft and the thing, he just called his partner and said, look, I'm starting this business. You can help me out. Partner come say, how much you need? And he said, yeah, a couple thousand. He gave him a couple thousand dollars and this man became a billionaire himself. That's just, just by being his partner. I mean, I think he knows something about like marketing or something or whatever his, his degree. And he eventually came to work for Microsoft. And, but he's a millionaire. He owns the Clippers and the Seahawks or something. Because it was partners. Oprah shouldn't want to see Gail win. What the fuck? I don't even understand that mechanic. So why is sitting some Paul want to see the Slam Dogs win? Y'all are mad because they get promoted on his page? They should. They're his friends. You're my friend. I want you to win. You're my partner. I want you to win. I don't want you to lose. And if, if I could get you some business, you're my partner. I want you to get some business. If I you could sell some clothes on my page, you're my friend. I want you to do it. Well, I don't understand what y'all mean by that. That was so, I'm so lost on the fact that y'all think these people are cloud chasing because he promotes their page. They're, they're my friends. And they're not just my, they don't, they, you're not waking up four o'clock in the morning, driving an hour to, girl, look at this. Look at this, this is Hicksville. There's nothing here but coons and wolves, bitch. You telling me you drove this motherfucking trek four o'clock in the morning, you're not my friend? Bitch, I'm promoting every day for you. You, I don't, you ain't got to ask me. You ain't got to ask me. I'm, what, what, what you, bitch, you, you selling pussy? Bitch, we about to put there too. Bitch, whatever, you, you selling crack? Girl, where the crack is at? Guess what? I know my partner got that A1. Whatever you doing, the fuck? Stop being crazy, people. How, that's not them cow chasing? That's him helping out his fucking friends. Oh, friend, look, I got, look, I'm about to start selling these witch cards. You'll post it for me? You're supposed to do that. That's your friend. You don't want to see him win? Oh, my God. You wake up four o'clock in the morning, I can't post your clothes because people think you cow chasing? Man, I'm going to post that every day. Fuck what people think. The fuck? Where the nigga at? Ask that question. Where the nigga at? That's who you ask. Them girls up there. Them girls, the slam dogs up there. They called me for, for, they, for not for, I'm lying, five o'clock this morning to make sure that he was where he was supposed to be. That, to make sure was, anything was going on. Five o'clock this morning, woke my black ass up. I was, I was mad about to start cussing. So don't, don't and it's up there and been up there. Come on, people, make it make sense for me, please. That's all I ask you to do. If y'all could do that, I'll feel good. If you can make it make sense for me, baby, I'll make it feel good. And so they, they using him for, for, for to sell some clothes. They can't be using me. You can't be using me. You can't be using me. You my friend. To post something, it takes me three seconds to do that. It takes me three seconds to copy and press the, the send button. Three seconds. You telling me I can't get my friend three seconds? Stop it. Y'all sound stupid as a fuck. You my friend, you selling something, it's gonna be on my page and people just, it's gonna be on my page so people just get tired seeing it. If you don't like seeing it, block it. Period. It is what it is. My friend called me, asked me, could you post this for me? Okay, what are you gonna say to me? It's gonna be posted. Without question. Y'all, what about Shekinah using Shema? God, let me pull this motherfucking code. How on earth? Did you somebody say that? Who said that? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> y'all sound like y'all on crack. Now y'all on crack this morning. Uh-uh. You got to come live and explain. Uh -huh. Hold up. <laughs> girl, this girl said, Shakata using Shamar. What? 
that just didn't even, that's the most backwardest shit I ever saw in my life. I'm not even helping out for nobody. I just want you to make me understand how the fuck your mind even get you to type them fucking words. That don't even, sister, how, you, oh, you don't want, oh, you don't want to come alive. You don't want to come alive. I'm not going to block it because, baby, you need Jesus. You the stupidest, you, you, well, how, you said Shekinah using Shema. Okay. Okay, so let's say let's say this. The, the thing about chasing clout, my baby, is this. I'm gonna tell you because I'm a professional clout chaser. Okay, my baby, I want you to understand one thing, love. Let me tell you something, little bitch. Let me tell you something, you bitch. You. The thing about chasing clout, you can't chase clout backwards, baby. You hear me? You can't chase clout backwards. You got to chase clout forward. You can't chase the backwards. You feel me? You can't chase it backwards. You gotta chase it forward. No, that's my bone. That's a bone. Oh, it's not. Okay. You can't chase it backwards. You gotta chase that motherfucker forward, okay? Let me tell you something. <laughs> you can't chase it backwards. You gotta chase it forward. That's the thing about clout. You can't chase it backwards. It don't do me no good. It don't do me no fucking good to go fuss with somebody like Fly or, or Fag Wall. Or a fly, fly niche, a fly girl, or a, a fag. Well, it makes no sense. I'm that's that's chasing cow backwards. If I want to chase cow bitch, I gotta chase it forward. Bitch. You so if the so if she, so if Chicago, let's say for example, let's if Chicago chased the cloud over Shema, she chasing it backwards, sister. Last time I checked, Chicago, I, I, I have 3.5 million followers. 3.5 million. Last time I checked, she been on. National TV, what five, six, seven, eight times? Uh, she's been on national TV. National TV, not not local TV, not not local, not local TV. Just look at the resume here. Let's look at the resume. We we, we talk, talk facts. Last time I checked, she's been on, been in front of the camera, in front of the camera and behind the camera for probably what the last I say what fifteen years. Um, uh, last time I checked, uh, I've seen, uh, you know, and I looked this up. And I'm telling you what I know. Last time I checked, uh, she she uh, actually has a business of uh, sell products uh, and, 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 and 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 everything else. Last time I checked, she's she's financially wealthy. Last time I checked, she put up a lot of money for this 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 endeavor we are now. A lot. I saw the bills. I saw them. I knew what it is. Last time I checked. And last time I checked, there was no loan on that. She paying for it out of pocket. Last time I checked. So let's see what Shamal got. So last time I checked, Shamal got um how many how many how many well I said Shamal let's just say for his, I don't know how many I don't I, I don't know how many followers Shamal got, but let's just say he got a half a million. Or let's just say a million. I don't know. And no, there they go right there. Mm -hmm. Last time I checked Last time, I'm talking to speaking of the devil, he shot the pill. You alright, baby? I'm waiting for you. I'm good. I want to call down. I'm I was late. I was wrong. I, I, I got something happening to my tire. Yeah, they said it on Tuesday, but it was everybody's birthday. If you need anything, call me. I'm just online fussing with these people. Y'all his real friends, man. Ain't nobody waking up a day being five o'clock in the morning. Ain't nobody doing that. What, ain't nobody doing that. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all so much. Y'all been a help. Call me if you need anything, sweetheart. All right. You follow us. All right. All right. Shamal, that, that's, that, that's them. Don't ever tell me no shit about no. Don't ever tell me no shit about no, um. Don't ever tell me no shit about no, uh. Don't ever tell me no shit about no, uh. That's the people real friends, man. Anytime you gonna wake up out your bed, ain't nobody gonna do that, man. Come on, man. That's both of them, too. Bitch, I'm not with the world. I don't know about what's happening on the show. It don't matter. His mama died. He needs to go address that. We'll work with the show. The show is not that important. The importance, I don't care about. Let me tell you something about this show. This show is a bag, baby. 
just know that. Let me see, man. Let me see about this show. Once we talk about everything, man. So, it, it, so for the bitch that says Shekana using Shamar, use the stupidest bitch I ever seen in my life. Ain't no way possible that could even happen. Bitch, you can say everybody named Mama uses Shamar, but you can't say Shekana uses Shamar because she don't, she just don't have nothing to gain. No, what you gonna get more followers? What the fuck? What she gonna get? What the fuck she gonna get? I'm trying to figure out what you get out of that. You don't chase cow backwards. It don't work like that. You gotta chase cow frontwards if you're chasing cow. You can't chase cow backwards. It don't make no sense. That's stupid as fuck. Y'all sound stupid. Let me say something. Shekinah just love Shamal. Why that can't just be the thing? Why we have to put something into this? She just love him. He's a lovable person. He crazy, but he's just a lovable person. That's it. Nothing else. That doesn't even make no sense. Why she just can't love somebody? Why she just can't appreciate somebody? Why she can't just see somebody and that's it? But they don't question everything else. That's stupid as fuck. How y'all sound? How can that? How can how can how can Shakara she chase the car over Shamal? That doesn't make no sense what y'all talk about. I love Shamal too, but he's not. It's not. It's like it's levels to this shit as well. And trust to believe, I believe Shamal could get to that next level. But at the same time, right now, how, why she just can't love Shamal? Am I chase? I don't. Am I chase the car over Shamal? I like him too. I'm chasing car over. That's what y'all saying. That don't make no sense. He just Shamal. People just can't love him. That's, that can't happen. I'm just asking. Make it make sense. Man, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I'm a broke sissy from New Orleans. I'm a convicted felon. I'm fat and ugly. But guess what? I'm a little bit entertaining. You feel me? I'm a little bit entertaining. Check this out. I want you to understand something real clear. What love is. You heard me? I don't post this. And they don't, uh, they don't post this. Or nothing. It's not for nobody to see. But let me tell you what hurts me. To, you see, because y'all just be fucked up. Shekana or Tiny didn't have to put me on that, that, that audition stage sitting next to them. They didn't have to do that. These people is known far and wide. All over the world. They didn't have to say, shake it. What you think you could do with a, a gay show? They didn't have to say, here, see if you can put this together. They didn't have to believe in me. They don't get no money. They don't get no followers. They don't get nothing. They don't, I, I can't give them nothing that they don't have. I have nothing to give them that they don't have. I want you to understand something. So the only thing that you can say about that, the only thing that you can say it come from, it has to be love. You get what I'm saying? You have to love. You have to believe. You have to trust and think this could go somewhere. Because they, I can't get them nothing they don't have. These people got real platforms. We got some platforms. These people got real platforms. These people got real money. And I don't care what the bitch say. That's love. That's not nothing else. And you can't say nothing against that. They didn't have to do that. In fact, they're not even supposed to do that. These girls is from Atlanta. There's supposed to be Atlanta sissy sitting in on, 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 on one of and Atlanta, the, the, the capital of gay black America. There was supposed to be Atlanta punk sitting next to them. I got two bitches in my city right now. Super and Judy. That's who's supposed to put that together for me. That's who's supposed to say, here, shake it, come get you something. A friendly fucking ass was supposed to do that. Somebody was supposed to say, here, come on, let me open this door for you. But no, the bitches in my city, they locked the motherfucking doors. That's why I be on the bitches ass like I do. But how I take these two girls from Atlanta to come say, you know what? Come your fat ass on and let's do something. That's love. So what you telling me about Shekinah doing something for Shemar, that's love. I wouldn't give a fuck what nobody say. And I'm not saying this cause, because you know why I know it's love? Because I felt it my motherfucking self. They don't have to do nothing for me. I ain't supposed to be here. This is supposed to be, this is supposed to be, yeah, I'm not supposed to be here. This is supposed to be one of their friends. Or, or somebody from up here. You got to understand that. So don't come and tell me what Shekinah, Shekinah chasing, uh, what Shekinah uses Shekinah so That's the stupidest shit I ever saw in my, heard in my life. That pissed me the fuck off this moment. I ain't supposed to be here right now. If I'm supposed to be, I'm supposed to be in my city doing this with my people. I'm supposed to be on the stage, Super supposed to be on one side, Judas supposed to be on the other one. That's how it's supposed to go. That's what that's supposed to be. That's how it's supposed to go. They're supposed to be doing this with somebody from him. But the fact that they have love for somebody, when you have love for somebody,
somebody that you don't even know. Somebody that you're not even supposed to have love for. That, that, she kind of not Shavar family. Yeah, she didn't come. Shavar called out a tootie. There's no blood bond relationship. Slam dogs ain't related to him. That's love that people got for him. So I just I need to be there because y'all need to feel it. Y'all need to know what the fuck I'm talking about. It don't need to be no fucking, you don't need to hear no motherfucking, um, these pumps got food in here. Who pay for that? Not shake it. I don't got no money. This house got 17 room, 13, 15, 20 room. I don't know how many. So that's love. So don't come in with that bullshit. You ain't waking up 4 o'clock in the morning. What does, what, what, what honestly could the, what honestly could some more pay the slime dog? Not saying he don't got money. He can pay them nothing. Then people come there, but that's love. You, I love Shamo. You love Shamo. We love Shamo. So what we need to do right now is uplift them. All that other bullshit y'all talking to these motherfucking comments, send that shit some fucking wells. I don't want to hear it this morning. Because the only thing we need to be talking about this morning is motherfucking love. That's the only thing we need to be talking about this fucking morning. Y'all got me fucked up. Y'all got me fucked up. You all in these motherfucking comments talking that shit about these people? This man, he lost his mother. And his friends who love him came and helped him. And came and got him. And came and consoled him. Got out their bed 4 o'clock in the 4 5 in the morning. Call me. Make sure they got here and come. And come and support him. These women put people all across America on a platform they would never have otherwise. Yeah, if they got platform on Instagram and stuff. And be going all that, but the TV is a whole nother monster. These people come, they took out their pocket, their time, and taking a big risk. The amount that this motherfucking production costs is not cheap. It's more money than if you put all these pumps together and put all their money together, they couldn't put they couldn't write the check that these these this women have. You doing that out of love. So I need y'all to stop that bullshit in these comments for me just one day. We'll talk about the foolishness and fuckery tomorrow. But right now, we need to talk about we need to talk about this love. This man lost his mama. Somebody we all love. Somebody we all get entertainment from all the time. And y'all, and what you can say in the comments is they using him for what? Oh, I guess they're using me too. I don't know what they're using me for. But if this, if, if flew to me, if, if flying me out here to have meetings here, go eat at restaurants, nice that I never will see in my life, meeting people, all kind of famous people running around in a mansion all day, buck naked with Trey running around me, is using me, baby, please, Shekinah, use me some more. Use me so you can't use me more. That's what it is. Please, I'm running around jumping in pools with buck naked men. Got dicks running around. I lose me, baby. If that's what it is, sister, God, please use me some more. I want you to use me. If that's what using me, if, if that's what using me, if if using you is taking you and giving you an open platform to talk your shit and be you, putting you in the house, making sure you straight. Shamar told me his book if he was two thousand dollars. Shakana made that happen for him. This man charged two thousand dollars to book him. He wasn't charging that before Shakana. He couldn't have been. So at the same time, if that's what using you is, girl, use me. Y'all tell Shakana I said please use me. Use me some more. Cloud chase on me or whatever it is because I love it. If that's what that is. Fuck. How y'all in this comments? How y'all say some of the shit y'all say? Girl, they got me. Girl, she kind of got me. I'm sitting my fat ass over here. Listen. Girl, y'all know New Orleans bounce. Ain't no bounce part in the world. You could go to the play my little secret. <laughs> I'm sitting next to a Grammy Award winning artist. A class act lady and somebody who is renowned, a renowned 15-year career reality TV star judging people's talent. Bitch, use me some more. Could y'all please, where is the other, is there another use me line? I need to get in that motherfucker. If that's what using is, then people ain't using me nobody. Stop saying that. Stop saying that. Come on, man. Stop. Look at what's real. These people want Grammys, millions of dollars. They don't have to use nobody. But if that's using, if they're using Shema, use me to it. Where can I start? Me next. Me next. Use. You have permission. Hear my eye raising my hand. Use me next. I want to be used. 
using it if that's what using people is. Come on, people. Y'all say anything out your mouth. This internet got y'all fucked up in real life. I, I guarantee y'all, y'all people, y'all, some people in there really fucked up in real life. That's scary. Y'all got to get this shit better, people. We got to do better. These people fix somebody type shit. Kinda use it some more. Girl, fuck. I, I, use, <laughs> this man went from biting people to charging two thousand dollars for appearance because of this lady. That she get nothing from. She get no money from. Shit, she needs to charge a booking fee or something. He wasn't making no money like that. Use me. God, let me get you up out of here. You sound stupid. Now, I'm going to get Hold on. Hold on. Because you, you want some attention, Mom. You, you want some attention. Let me give you some, sister. Let me give you some, sister. Press the decline button so I can block you. You know you're scared to come to the light. You know you're fat. You're scary, funky, cheese ass. You're sitting up there probably eating a fucking hoagie right fucking now. But you just come from Jenny John's, you, 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 you poor boy Subway eating bitch. Come your funk ass to the live. You bitch. Come your ass. Come your ass here. Come the fuck on, ho. So I can take you out like a trash, sister. Press the decline button so I can block you before I have to tell you what the fuck you think, what I think about you, girl. Listen, I'm going to invite you to my asshole and my balls in two seconds. Oh, you don't want to come? Okay, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Now make you another burn page. Because you scared of me, bitch. You scared of shaking. Let me look at his face. Look at it. You scared of this, bitch. You scared of me, bitch. And you deserve right to me, bitch. Because I was going to make your... I was going to make your fucking ass cry. You know it. I was going to make you go sit in the fucking corner and cry. Bitch. Now make you another burn page. Ho. Ugly ass. I was gonna make girl, I was gonna make this whole cry. I swear everything. I was bitch, I was gonna go in on this so even though she'd have covered the page, I'd have been like, bitch. You can't. Bitch, oh girl. Oh girl. Girl, let me go, let me go see how I can do this job today. I love y'all. I love y'all. I really love y'all. And I wish the best for each and every one of y'all. Today. One of one of our friends of Sip Nation, Shema, has lost his mother. And I want everybody to just take a moment to pray for him and his family and what they're navigating through right now. I don't know what it is, but we're going to pray and navigate it through it forever right now. Our prayers go out to him and his family. And I, if y'all don't do nothing else, please send him some love today. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all so much for coming. Enjoy. I have a job to do still, so I'm going to do my job. Y'all pray for Shema and his family, because that's what it's about. It's about love, and we definitely lost sight of that just two seconds ago, and I'm sorry for that. So that's, what the, that's the reason we're talking about it right now. I love you, Shamar, and I'm praying for you and your family at this time. The, the entertainment you brought us over this time, we, we sometimes fail to realize that you're a human too. And so what you're going through, take your time and navigate, because we love you. I love y'all, and I'm going to talk to y'all later.